Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am Zamond, and today I am playing Stardew Valley. This game's been around for quite a while now, but uh, I know I was in the comment section on the last video, and I mentioned this game, and one of my viewers said they've never heard of it. Uh, so I figured I'd do a video on it to show it off, and if it does well, it does well. If it doesn't, that's fine too, I guess. So this is what I came up with my character here. Honey Wine Farm. Honey Wine is just mead, so my favorite thing is mead as well. I got a dog. I changed nothing in here except for a remix of Community Center from the normal the normal one. And uh, I made sure I guaranteed one year completion. And I'm just going to do the standard farm. There's all these other farms you could choose from, but I'm just going to do standard today. And I'm going to skip the intro. So the intro, I mean, you don't really, I don't know, it's not that great. <laughs> you just like work at a company, you're like miserable and depressed and you don't want to work there anymore. And then you get a letter from your, your dying grandpa that he left you this farm. Oh, I got 15 parsnip sneeds. Seeds? Why did I say sneeds? I don't know. And then you can, you can check this out. I don't know any of the controls. <laughs> you can uh, click on these. Like, if you click this one, you'll get a weather report for the next day. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. There's a fortune teller that tells you how lucky you will be. I think this actually has, like... Uh, like, what's it going to say here? It says... They're in good humor today. So that means, like, I have a little bit of extra luck today. But, like, you... You should check it, because if you're going to go mining in the mines and stuff, and you have bad luck, you're going to have bad luck in the mines, too. Welcome to the Living Up the Land. This one just teaches you, like, recipes. Because, uh, yeah, this game, you can have, like, a family, you can have kids, you can cook and all that stuff. Uh, but essentially, you get this farm, and you just have to uh, clean up the farm and take care of the farm. It's a very fun game, especially if you're into, like, indie games or, like, relaxing games. Um, base building games, I mean, you don't really, you don't build a base in the sense of, like, building a house or something like in Seven Days to Die or Valheim or Minecraft, but you can build up this farm and run it. You can't upgrade your house and everything, too. So I usually always just do, like, the first little chunk here. Uh, just because, like, especially if it's your first time playing and you have no idea what the heck you're doing. You're probably not going to go too crazy with your farm the first year. It's usually like year two when it, everything kind of really starts to come together. <clears throat> oh, I had to clear my throat there. I'm sorry. I don't even know if you heard that. So this is my dude. He's bald because in real life I am bald. And my goal for this farm, if it does do well, like if people are watching, I'll continue to, I'll, I love this game, like I'll continue to upload it. And I want to make, I want to make like a meadery. Like I just want to have a bunch of flowers making honey and beehives and stuff and then have a bunch of uh, uh, brewing barrels or whatever so I can make mead. Clear out these rocks real quick. Do something. I like to turn this on. Because then you know exactly where you're going to click. Which is nice. And the guy that made this game, he's actually making a second game. I don't think it'll be out for a while yet, but it's called Haunted Chocolatier. And it's like the same thing as this, but instead of like a farm, from what I know, you like, you own like a chocolate store. Or whatever. It looks it looks and sounds fun. I can't wait for it to come out. I wouldn't expect it to come out for like another year to two years at least. Uh, because this game was made by one dude. Alright, we planted and watered our parsnip seeds. 
Is your journal is like basically like your quest, so getting started, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. That'll take a couple days. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town, so we gotta go meet people. I've met two because you meet the mayor and you meet the girl that built this. I forget her name. Uh, but you can just click on the heart thing of Robin, and here's all the people. Quite a few. So we've met Robin, we've met Lewis. That's Penny. I think his name's Jake. I don't remember their names. Caroline, maybe, or something? Or maybe she's Caroline? I don't know. Haley. Oh. Uh, can't remember. Jody, I think. Sam and... Kid. Clay, I think his name is, or Clayton. Abigail. Pierce. Gus. I'm trying to do this all by memory. I haven't played this game in, I don't know, well over a year, probably. Uh, forget her name. It starts with an M, I think. That's Pam. Don't remember his name, but he works at the hospital. That's uh, Elliot, I believe. Lioness, I think, is the, the homeless dude. Oh, uh, man. There's so many people. I don't remember all their names, but we'll meet some. These are important, too. If you're starting this game for the first time ever, select these when you see them. Because uh, these are... I, I don't have any way to show you, I don't think, right now, until I unlock the community center, but you... You have a community center, like the whole point of the game, like the end game goal or whatever is you're either going to fix up the community center or you're going to destroy it to make storage for, or to make space for storage for like a supermarket. That's like the evil route, but I mean, you, you do what you want to do if you play this game. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Yes. Well, hello there. He owns the uh, Stardew Valley Saloon. You can search these, but if people see you search them, they kind of get grossed out and then they hate you a little bit. They don't actually hate you, but you know what I mean. They question you and disgust. What did I say this guy's name was Jake? Alex. Oh, oh, crap. Yeah, I'm the new guy. This is where Pam and Penny live. This is the mayor's house. little worm guys you can uh, hit these you get prehistoric rib I got a prehistoric rib wow take it to the uh, museum yeah there's a dude that works at the museum there's a lot to this game surprisingly it's, it's great anyway I was saying you collect these on in every season there's some forage or whatever on the ground that you can pick up and then you put them in the community center just to uh, finish the community center oh, we're getting a cutscene I don't really feel like reading all this, but, uh, yeah. Gunther. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah, so you can fill this entire museum with stuff you, uh, pick up, like that prehistoric bone I got, or minerals that you find in the mine or whatever. Oh, you found something? Let me see it. So I wonder if this cutscene probably only happened because I actually got something to put in. Very old. I'd love to study this greater detail, but it's yours. No, I'm gonna give it to you, dude. Oh, I should have been... I should have been not clicking that so fast so you guys could read it. But who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. <laughs> wow. Think about it, will you? I always donate everything, and then if I find multiples, I sell it. Some of the stuff's worth a little bit of money, anyway. I mean, there's a couple things in the game that are worth a lot of money. And if you're playing on PC, there is mods for this game. To make it more fun. But, uh, yeah. The game is fun in general, so... It's on mobile, it's on console, it's on PC. Great. I love playing it on Nintendo Switch. So this guy in here, this is where you come to buy, uh... Well, I don't usually buy anything from them. Not right away anyway, but you can buy this stuff here. Come here to upgrade your tools. You can also get geos that you can break open over here. Oh, I guess I should talk to him because we got to meet people. Flint. Okay, I thought his name was Clay. Flint. That's his bedroom up there. You can't go in anybody's bedroom unless you're like, I don't know, five or six star friends with him. 
Heart, heart friends, not star friends. And then there's a lot of secrets in this game too. That I'm sure we'll find eventually if we continue this series. Penny is usually over here or like up here. The kids. Not today. What time is it? 120. Love it in Pelican Town? I mean, there's like, there's like fan theories that Pelican Town is actually purgatory, but who knows? He works at the saloon. And I think this one's Haley's room, but Haley's, I don't like her. She's very rude. I'm sure she's nice and fine when you get to know her and have a, more of a friendship with her, but she's very rude when you first talk to her, so good screw her. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, Jody. Jody's got a husband that's in the military. I remember the first time I played this game. I was like, I don't know, 18, 19? And I wanted to make her my wife in the game, but you can't, and I was pretty disappointed. Caroline, you must be Zam, new farmer. Don't you run away from me, boy. Harvey. Uh, he's a local doctor. My inventory is basically full already. Oh. We're gonna go see if we can find Maru. And I remember her name now, because it's one YouTuber I used to watch. Every time he saw her, he'd be like, Maru, how do you do? And I need to talk to her. <laughs> That's why I remember her name. Robin's house is up here too. That's Robin's husband. Demetrius. Robin's husband and Maru's father. Husband, boyfriend, I'm not sure, but. Sometimes Maru, no, actually not Maru. Sometimes Abigail's over here playing a flute. And then we got Linus up here. He's home. Stranger, hello. He, he's just like... He's homeless, but don't feel too bad because I'm pretty sure... I don't remember if it's a mod or in this game, but I'm pretty sure at some point you offer to build him a house, I think. And he's like, no. <laughs> this guy's just some random dude. We'll just pretend he doesn't exist because he's just breaking this down so we can go into mine. Which is also kind of crazy because uh, there's a map. Across that bridge is this place, but you have no way to get over it until the mine's clear. Which only takes like a day or two, I think. I'm gonna go in here. There's Rob in. You can, uh... You can uh, upgrade your house, construct farm buildings. These are all the buildings you can make. So these cabins are for multiplayer. If you put a cabin down on your base, if you have multiplayer on, I think, in the options, then your friends can join your cabin, or can join your game and go live in the cabin. <clears throat> this thing, you, uh... These are pretty cool if you're going to go to, like, the mayonnaise route, because you can put fish in here. Certain fish give you certain type of eggs, and then those eggs turn into mayonnaise or whatever. Sheds are really cool, too. You can build a bunch of stuff. Uh, but she's got a freaking kid that lives down here. This guy. This mother effer. When I first did this game, you had to meet people, and he was like the last person I had to meet, and he just never leaves his room. I had to stand here like forever for him to leave. But I mean, you can honestly just look it up now. You can get like his actual timetable and see exactly when he's gonna leave and stuff. I don't know where Maru is. It's not here. Sometimes she's sitting down here, but I didn't see her. This is the community center. We can't go in here. Locked. And 
this is a. Uh, have you been in here? Oh, same. Oh. Leah. I think Leah's the first person I married when I played this game. Originally, for the first time ever. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Sam does kickflips in front of his house sometimes on a ski. I don't know, actually. It might not be a kickflip. It could be like a shove it or. I don't know. Elliot! Nice. Oh, the new farmer. Yeah, he's like a poetry dude. I don't talk to him very often. The beach! That's Elliot's house. Ooh, we got a nice little clam. Billy! I don't think Willie's gonna be here. It's probably gonna be locked. Be back tomorrow. Cool. Willie gives you a fishing rod, though, and you can fish. God, I love this game so much. Bridge is broken. You need a bunch of wood to fix it, and you have access to another small little island thing with some pickable items. And then there's like a dude over there when it's raining that will sell you an item to get married. Maru. Maru, how do you do? Been looking forward to meeting me. Yeah, she wants his bald head. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Penny is cool. I like Penny. Her mom's an alcoholic. I always feel bad for Penny, so I, I used to always marry her because I felt bad that she lived in a trailer with her mom. But I'm pretty sure with like uh, newer updates, which I haven't really done a whole lot of, I think you can build them an actual house, which is really cool. Lewis's birthday. Wow, okay. There's an egg festival. There's festivals every season, which is really cool. Flower dance. Okay. I wonder, there, there used to be a thing. I forget how to do it exactly, but... You'd put something here. I don't remember what it was. I got a little checkered... Checkered... Boxers on. You would take something though, I forget what it was, but you would put it in one of these slots and there's like a item, like one of the quests is to find Mayor Lewis's shorts and if you put an item in your slot there, you get the shorts so you have two pairs. And I kind of want to do it because there is a cool, th there is a pretty funny thing you can do with the shorts. I don't remember how to do it though. I'm going to look it up. Okay, one second. Shorts. Which, maybe, I, don't know. I know where the shorts are, but kind of hard to get. I'm going to waste... Where's my, my energy bars down here? I'm going to waste that real quick on cleaning up the farm. Is a, what is it? 8.30? I think you have until like 2 p.m. Or 2 a.m. I think, max. And then uh, you pass out. Which is not good because you lose money and items sometimes, I think. And... When you wake up the next day, you have less energy that day. So yeah, I played this game like day one when it first came out. And I played it a bunch of times since then, but there's so many things that are added to the game now that I have not done. Or like I've started but never finished. This game's pretty similar to uh, Coral Island, I don't know, I haven't made a video on that in a long time, but I was playing that on Channel 4 bit, and I think I said in the video, like, this game is just like Stardew Valley. It's also like, uh, what are those old school games I've never played, Harvest Moon or whatever? I heard they're very much like Harvest Moon, too. Like, obviously this game, he got his inspiration from Harvest Moon for sure, but I've never played. I don't know. Can't see a damn thing. I'm just gonna go to sleep because I can't see nothing. Actually, do I have? How do I? Enough wood. No. I can make a torch, but I'm not going to. We'll get wood. Oh, let's turn our. Uh... Yeah. 
actually. Oh, I can't because my inventory is full. I was going to move it right in front of it. Day two. Okay. Got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. <laughs> Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. You can come down to the store and buy a backpack. We're going to do that eventually, but you know. Just got back from a fishing trip. Oh, Willie's home. We're going to go get a free fishing rod. Oh, we got to water our stuff here. Water up our parsnips. I think they take five days to grow, I forget. But you can check by going to the general store. I don't know if there's any other way to check. There might be now, but... So we can just probably... Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Last time I played this game, I did play with mods a little bit. So there's like a lot of ways to check and stuff, but it was pretty cool. Uh, I want to get... I want to get a freaking storage container box thing. I'm gonna cut down some trees. I need 50 wood? Hey now. There we go. Forty-nine and fifty-three wood right there in the inventory. Oh crap. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'll throw that in there for a second. I don't think you can throw stuff on the ground. Oh my god, you can't. I'm dumb. Okay. Well, what do you know? Craft this guy. Put it right here. Make it red, I guess, because it's gonna be for our seeds. Stuff. Like this crap. Now. And I think I should be able to get this back out. I think it'll be right there. I don't want to sell those. I want to keep them until I don't need them. I think you can eat them too. Oh, uh, you can, but these ones give you zero energy. Back to town we go to meet more people, I hope. Let's see, actually, I like to come up here because, uh,. These are really cool once you unlock them. You can take this to the desert. Can't do any of that right now. So. I go up here though because sometimes there's forageable stuff in there. What is this flashing at me? This is the beach at 5 p.m. Jeez. Oh, uh. I don't think I can make it. That's fine. Maru, how do you do? Yes, I've met your mother. I don't think we came in here last time. So oh, here's the uh, 2,000 gold. Did I buy some seeds? Probably parsnip seeds. Take four days. Mature. Uh, bean starter seeds take 10. Cauliflower. What if I do like a... Uh, uh, I'll get three for now. Three of these. Two of those. Two of those would be cool, but I don't have any way to make honey right now, so we're not going to worry about the flower stuff. I don't think I need two of those for the uh, community service center thing. I could be completely wrong, though. I wish, uh, I wish I'd unlock it soon so I can check. I want to get more cauliflowers because I know cauliflowers are probably going to ask me for like discard ones. All right, that should be good. We're going to plant all these up. There's Caroline. 
I don't know what the hell this is. I've never used it. I've never seen it get used in a game. Never clicked on it since like the launch. So, Altar of Yoba. Isn't that a little weird? I mean, I'm assuming it's just like it's the church for the entire town or whatever. But also a little bit weird that you have an entire altar. Abigail. Abigail is a gremlin. I'm not even lying. She eats rocks. Uh, so yeah, if you have amethyst rocks, you can give her those and are her favorite item. She'll eat them. Straight up. She just says like, oh, this is a great snack. Like, it's a freaking rock. What are you talking about? I don't know what this is down here either. Never used it. I don't know, maybe we can throw stuff in there? I have no idea. Or it's just there for aesthetics. Or whatever. What's your name? Mayor Lewis? It's great, Mayor. It's great. Can't go there until 5 p.m.? Wait, is it before 5 p.m.? Let's just go there now. Maybe it'll... Okay, I was before 5 p.m. I didn't read. Boy, there's something. I wish I was one of those YouTubers that... Well, first of all, I was confident enough to do it, but also would do all these different voices. But, uh... Can I have my fishing rod, please? A month on the salty seas? I wonder, if that would, like, I wonder what that would feel like, to be on a month, a boat for an entire month, and then step on solid ground. Holy crap, that'd be weird. It'd probably be... Do you think it'd be similar to, like, jumping on a trampoline, and then when you get off the trampoline and you jump, you, like, really feel the gravity? You know what, you know what I'm talking about? My old fishing rod. Thanks, dude. How we can make money. All kinds of fish, huh? There is a lot of fish, and then if you get mods, if you get like the Stardew Valley Plus mod or whatever, or expanded or whatever, there is a lot of different fish. Really fun. The mod's really cool. I'm not going to do mods, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to mod it, but eventually, if the game does well, people want to watch me play it, then, uh, yeah, eventually we can do mods. Oh, this guy. Oh, missed it. Boom, I got it. You have a higher chance of catch rate inside the bubbles. I don't know how to do this. I haven't, uh, I haven't played on PC, really. The E, maybe? I, I hit E. Can a fish bite my line, please? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do this. Maybe I should look at the controls. Uh, you can play with a gamepad? Art logo co op, huh? How do I look at the controls? Ooh. Can I zoom out? Gosh, I can zoom out. Alright, well. Maybe it's spacebar. I have no clue. We'll figure it out, though. Right click didn't work. Oh, okay, it's just left click, I guess. You gotta keep the fish inside the, uh... The green thing. And if you do it the entire time, you'll get a perfect bonus. Oh, actually, I didn't do it. That sucks. We got a sunfish. 
We can eat him and get 13 energy. Ooh, ooh. 13 energy. Fishies. Oh, I'm concentrating. I'm not talking. Whoa, a flounder. I don't have any inventory in my space. What did I just say? I don't have any space in my inventory. Inventory in my space. Wow. I don't know why I'm fishing right now. I don't even have freaking inventory. Okay. A chub? No, it's a sardine. Um, crap, dude. I don't know. Oh, he's a silver star. Okay, we're gonna sacrifice the sunfish for silver star fish. What was that, like an oyster or something? Let's go plant these seeds. I really want to get the backpack. Backpack is so useful. I also probably shouldn't walk around with all this crap on me all the time too, but that's fine. I do a lot of fishing during the winter seasons because you can't plant anything. Unless you have a greenhouse. I just sell these fish, probably. I mean, the flounder. Nah, I'm just gonna sell them. It's always good to keep one of everything in a chest just in case you need it for the community center. I don't. So use the console controls. Cauliflower. Four potatoes. I'm gonna put these over here because I'm pretty sure once you place them, you can't walk through them. So. Walk through these. Potatoes are cool. I planted four, right? But we might get multiples from one seed, so that's always nifty. Hey, give me that back. Okay, let's, uh, should we go fishing? Should we go fish for some more stuff? Or, I could probably, fishing does take energy, so I'll probably just clean up some more of this area. Wild mixed seeds, eh? Mixed seeds give you foil, for Rick, what am I trying to say? Foraged items, like uh, the dandelions and stuff like that. I think you might get a chance of getting, unless I was a mod thing, I think there is a chance you could get like an actual drop from these mixed seeds, but I don't think so. There's a little bit of everything, that's what it's said. And we're almost out of energy, so if you go too low, you'll start to walk really slow. Kinda sucks. I think uh let's go and see if we can meet people. Who do we have to meet actually? Think about this. Five PM. Uh we can meet Haley still, we can meet this kid. Jasmine, I think her name is. Shane. The old man. Pierce? How do we not meet Pierce? Arnie? Am Obviously we need to meet her. This kid, I forget his name. And the wizard. Okay. That's uh not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Boom, 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 boom. I love the music in this game. Yeah, let's go talk to Pierce before he closes. Jane's an asshole, too. Oh, frick, there's a lot of people in here. Here's ya, bugger. Hey, it's Mr. Zam. Marnie's in there. Come on, I'm coming to talk to you, Marnie. Yeah, her and Mayor Lewis have a thing going on that's like a secret that... Like, nobody knows, but everybody probably knows, you know what I mean? They're in a secret relationship. 
It's weird that they're secrets and like they're both singles. No matter. We go ahead. Damn, Shane, you dickhead. Talk to me. What? What do you want? Go away. See what I mean? Dickhead. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Yeah? We've talked to Gus, right? Ooh. -hoo -hoo. So if you play on PlayStation, then you are probably aware that PlayStation has trophies. You get the Platinum Trophy. You have to beat this stupid game without dying. And I've never freaking beaten it once with dying. I hate it. Oh shit, okay. Those are different. I died. But <laughs> this game's pretty fun. Like, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of levels and stuff. To, and, like, beating it without dying is just insane. I wish you could play pool. There's a skull shaped keyhole. So we can't even play this game until we uh, get the key. I could tell you how to get the key, but I feel like I don't want to tell you everything. Yeah. Alright, we met Arnie and these people, so we have to meet Haley, the old dude, the kid, S Sebastian, maybe? Jasmine. Sam and Penny, they're all going probably to the saloon. That's where that kid lives. Is his name Vincent? I think his name might be Vincent. Why is the kid not- Oh, he is here. He's blind. It is Vincent. Oh, a stranger. And be your step daddy, but the game won't let me. She's not single. Is Haley in here and out of her room? Yep. Really and Shane should just freaking run away together and be miserable people. Wow. Is it going to be nice right now? Are you kidding? There we go. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Yeah, well, screw you, Haley. I'm never going to talk to you again. What's wrong with my freaking purple and blue pants? They changed color. Look at that. Blue. Purple. Blue. Purple. Those are some fancy-ass pants, if you ask me. I still have to talk to Sebastian. How many people do we have to talk to, actually? 25 or 28? I have, like, no energy left. Dark. Sometimes I'll, I'll have stuff to do right until, like, 2 in the morning or whatever before I pass out, but... That's fine. Whatever. Or sometimes I'll just get bored and I'll just skip an entire day. Just go right back to sleep. Like I could right now, technically, right? Like I could day three, I could go right back to sleep, wake up day four, have my stuff thrown, but... Ooh, it's raining. Look at that. When it rains, you don't have to plant. I should have been... I should be checking this, actually. It's nice to check that because like if I would have known it's raining I could have uh I could spend the entire day mining because I don't have to worry about watering my plants. Ooh. A dandelion. It's the last dandelion. Remember Sid from that movie? I forget what it's called. Can you eat this? You can, it gives you a lot of energy too. My inventory's full. That kind of blows, because I was going to do some fishing. Oh, community board. Help wanted. Buying one catfish at three times the market value. So if you get a catfish, take it to Willie. He'll give you 600 gold for it. I could accept this quest, but I don't... Ah, man, how do you get a catfish? They're just in the river. Catfish, Stardew Valley. Be caught in the river. Yeah, it just says it can be caught in the river. Let's try it. 
It's Wednesday, so I'm pretty sure the store's closed on Monday. Let's go empty our inventory down here. And then we will fish. For some catfish. I hope. The last dandelion. That was spooky. That was a spooky sound. Seems like we're gonna play day three, and then the day three will be the last day of the first episode. And we will continue on in another episode. If y'all wanna watch me play. Are you gonna be a dick again? This weather makes you thirsty? Why don't you look in the freaking sky and open your mouth then, you loser? I bet you Shane's a perfectly fine person when you get to know him, but he's so rude. He was rude when I talked to him. Give me a catfish first try. I got algae, are you kidding? Algae is pretty useful for, I forget what it's used for. There's something that you need algae for. Oh, cool. Thanks for the broken glasses. Remember, I must have bad luck. I didn't check the freaking fortune teller. I did, didn't I? I didn't read it. I checked it, but I didn't read it. You must have bad luck today with the uh, spirits or whatever. Oh, wow, a fish. Oh, my God. Is this a freaking legendary fish right now? No. No, it's not. You would know if you got a legendary fish because it would be impossible to even get it in this up the bar this is probably gonna be like uh it could be a catfish i'm gonna say it's probably more like i don't know if you know oh my god am i even gonna catch the damn thing nope didn't even catch it couldn't even tell you what it is a pike possibly <clears throat> i wanted to catch that fish Just fishing in the rain. Am I going to get a perfect fishing bonus here? Nope. I screwed it up. Oh, a shad, hey? A pretty shad looking shad. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you have this game, and you're just sitting back on a couch under some like candlelight or something, and it's like the middle of winter, so you're all cozy with hot chocolate, that's it. That's like my entire day gone, because I'm just going to play this game all day. You know, you know what I mean? It's just a cozy, relaxing game to play. Wow, I got garbage. Wow. Good thing we're cleaning up the river, I guess. Give me a catfish. Or a perfect bonus. Oh, crap. Okay, screw the perfect bonus. We're gonna get this chest. Thank you. A smallmouth bass, but what else did we get? Oh, we got geodes. Always gonna take geodes, you know. Oh my gosh! What are you? What are you? Let me catch you, you stupid fish! Oh my god! Don't do this to me. I'm gonna catch you right now. Did it. The catfish! Mm. Oh, I don't know. Alright, Willie. 
Did we accept that? We did. All right, let's do this. And it was a silver catfish. Please be at your freaking your shack. I'm gonna get those on the way out because I don't have the room. We can also, if he's in here, we can sell fish to him, but we're gonna go behind the counter, put this over our head, if we're proud of it. Hey, so you saw the Bolton I posted. Thanks so much. We just made 600 friggin' bucks, baby. Now if we come back down here, he's got a bamboo rod, that, oh, wait. I think that's what we're using as a bamboo. And then you got the training rod. They can only catch basic fish. Oh, we can buy fish tanks and put those in our house and then put fish inside of it. Trouts. Eventually you can uh, get you can buy uh, bait from them. So we can sell this one for 60. We can sell this one for 75. And we can sell this one for 62. We're going to go ahead and do that. Because again, once we unlock the uh, until we unlock the uh, community center, I have no clue what I'm gonna need. But there is a fish one, but you can catch fish pretty much all year, so not too. Bad. Sebastian, you son of a bitch! We met him. Who do we have to meet now? We gotta meet Jasmine, the little girl, I think so. The old man, the wizard, and Jasmine. Right, let's see if we can find Jasmine. Since it's raining, she's probably inside the uh, thing with Penny over here. Penny teaches them. She like homeschools them or whatever. Penny's in here, so that means Jasmine's gonna be in here too. So. I hope. Lied. What the hell? He's usually always with those kids. What is this? Yeah, I see that there's a book missing, but there's also a book here. There it is. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Crops will die as soon as the season ends. Except for corn. Some other ones, I think. Cool. See you later, Gunther. Right, maybe maybe they're just at home because of Brandon. Let's just go to Jazz. But where is Jasmine live? I have no clue. Does she live with these old people? I don't know. Buzz off. I mean, George is. It didn't need to see that. George is a cranky old man. That's okay. I don't know where Jasmine lives. Those on Wednesdays. I have to Google this. I have actually no idea. Okay, her name is just Jazz, not Jasmine. Oh! I should have known that. We're going to a new area in the game that you haven't seen in this video. Damn, look at that. That's uh, uh, Leah's house. Look at these little cows right here. And up here is Arnie's house. There's Jen. I'm just here to make sure all the Marines' business needs are meet. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. That's why you're here. What kind of what kind of needs are you making her meet? You know. We can purchase animals here. Ooh, play. Now. Not gonna be here yet. 
Sometimes over here there's a lady that sells stuff. We go meet the wizard. We don't need to meet the wizard. Get someone a gift. Cultivate parsnip. So we don't need to meet the wizard. We will eventually, but he's like way down there somewhere. This just goes back up to your farm. Oh crap. Okay, so. Uh, I have to clear a path, I guess. There we go. We're gonna go all the way up. See how bigger farm is? It's massive. And we're back at the farm. I'm gonna take those because I want to get another storage bin. Or ten. Maybe not ten, but you know. Might as well use our energy doing something productive. Need how many wood? Fifty, I think. There's a broken greenhouse. Can't wait till that's fixed up. Greenhouses are sweet because you can plant stuff that only grows in the summer, spring, fall, whatever. In, during any season and they'll grow all year. That's always neat. Clear all this junk. Is there... Uh, make that. We'll throw this down up here as well. Um, I don't know. I'll make this one green. I guess. Put stuff like this in here. Seeds and clay. And we'll leave the rocks and whatever in this one. Maybe I'll change this into like gray. I like that you can change your colors. Nice. Break these down. You click it. My axe isn't strong enough to break. Yeah, you need to upgrade your axe. I think copper. And then there's other ones. There's rocks as well, so you need a copper pickaxe. Well, but there's other types of logs somewhere. Jeez, I have no idea. Do we even have any on our property? There's one right here. This guy. That one needs an even better one, so I think you, you need like uh, iron or something for that. 8 p.m. I'm low on energy. It's the end of the episode. So I'm gonna sleep. Because you cannot save a game unless you sleep. That was loud, probably. I just clap. I'm sorry. Uh, level 1 fishing! Nice. Nice. I'll take it. I just stretched. It was great. Ooh, level one foraging. One axe proficiency. Nice. Trees sometimes drop seeds. You craft and grab seeds while seeds. Craft snacks. Cool. Let's check this out because honestly, our parsnips are ready. Why? Are, what? Wait, what? Oh, you know what? They're not ready because uh, I planted them on day one and it take four days, so that would be day five. 
But yeah, I'm not gonna water any of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here on a Stardew Valley mead. The end goal is a mead farm. That's the end goal. We're gonna make a meadery. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, please uh, let me know in the comments if you want to watch it. I mean, obviously, I'll go on views as well. I don't like to ask for likes and subscribers, but it is uh, it is definitely an easy way to show me that you do want me to continue with uh, certain types of uh, videos or whatever. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Stardew or something else. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. I'm going to shut up now.